back hour, <laughs> back out, um, just a solo camp. Out with Emma in the van last night. Um, we we're going to camp, and but the weather was awful. Just rain, heavy rain, just nasty. Ten pound in heavy rain, or sit in the van, a couple of beers, just chill out. No brainer. So I'm out tonight because she's at work. Um, and I'm in a familiar location. Oh, because my ankle still isn't right. Like, something not right. It's okay, but it's not 100%. I don't want to make it worse by going too far or too high. Plus, it's really windy. Um, forecast is big gusts, sunny intervals. Should stay dry, hopefully. But you never know. You can never predict when it's windy. Uh, so I'm thinking about just going up here, top of there, which is still quite a walk. And then I'll get set up in the, um, the tent I brought. I don't know if I brought the wrong tent. We'll find out, like. I'm thinking as well, up there there's a bit of shelter, so I might get a sheltered spot because the wind's blowing. It's blowing in the right direction to get out of it, if you know what I mean. If that makes sense, you know it makes sense. But yeah. Oh, we'll continue on. Yeah, see. It's like two false summits. That's still not the top. But we'll get there. Well, changed my mind. That's the hill I was going to go on over there. There's somebody on it, in the top. There's two lads on there, if that's you. Hello. But I just thought, oh, I'll not disturb you. Get yourselves chilled out mate, about my ramblings. Plus, it's not, uh, it's not too far to go to another place. It's all around here. So I'm going to head over there somewhere I might end up on the other side of the wall because get out the wind but I might head for this hill over here which is opposite that other one right it's uh you snooze you lose waddle <laughs> somebody in my spot but yeah I don't want to disturb them you know what I mean they got there first so let them have a nice chilled out night without my rubbish still windy like it's not died off uh, you know there's not what you can do about it if we didn't go out because of the weather you'd never go out you just gotta adapt and overcome <laughs> I hope this tent's all right though I don't think I've had it in bad wind before it's been in wind but not wild and these gusts are like 25, 30 mile an hour. When it's not blowing, it's great. But then suddenly this big gust comes through. It's like, whoa. That might, uh, that might be the breaking point. Yeah, we'll see. Be an adventure. Be a good video for, for people watching. See, he's got, see my tent getting destroyed. <laughs> Again. Welcome to England. Welcome to Scotland. England. 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 Scotland. Mad, isn't it? That's the border. That's the border. So I'm going to go this side of the fence along this path. Leads to that hill there, I think. And we'll see if I can get out of the wind because uh oh yeah bugger. It's not gusts anymore, it's constant. It's really picked up. It's really picked up now and um it's just blowing without any gaps. So it's a bit of a nightmare. So hopefully I get a shelter. It looks like there's a like a well, I don't know. If I not want to get there, it's the only way. Look at the weather man weird 
Look at that. It's biblical, isn't it? Don't think it's rain though, that's the main thing, no rain. As long as it doesn't rain before it gets set up. <clears throat> Put the music on. Uh, Alright. Oh, well, we're nearly there. It's a tricky bit of that. It's coming on that path. Straight through, uh, it's saying, I think it's a river. <laughs> it's like a water course going down. But you can't tell. You can't tell until you're in it. Up to your ankle with non waterproof shoes on. Don't. Anyway, I'll ring them out. <sighs> Tick City. Check yourself for ticks if you're walking through this stuff. Oh. I thought I can get out the wind, like... It's hard. Hard going through. The hardest part was going through the grass. Because the, uh, there's no path. You're just going down little troughs and into water. Wow, oh, it's hard there. Anyway, we'll come back up here. Because I'm here now. Made it. What a journey. So come from down that valley, round the back of there, up there, saw them lads going down that path there, up round to the border, across there, and up here. This is the highest point. So I take it this is the top. Whoo! Look at the views. Oh, <laughs> I've got to find somewhere out of it now. Ah oh, man, crank. Woo! Need a little shelter, shelter area, which is flat as well. It's gonna be flat for this tent. Have a look here. As well as these little sort of shelves, ledges, if you like. Oh, this might be all right. Oh, it might be okay here. Let's go down. Still blowing, but it doesn't look as mad. I don't know where I'm putting my feet. Oh. oh, this might be okay. I think I might have sussed it, lads and lasses. Just a flat bit here, flat on this ground. All right, I'm gonna take my bag off and have a little wander because I need to find somewhere. It's getting on times. It's ten past six. Craig Charles is on, man. Never mind the wind or the rain, it's Craig Charles. I'm missing Craig Charles. <laughs> Hyperventilating. Oh, dear. Right, so I found my pitch, which is here, out the wind. I'm sheltered out the wind. There is, however, a problem. A problem. As you might have seen on the thumbnail, I have forgotten the tent. Um, I'm, I'm actually not joking, right? I'm not joking. I had everything. I normally sit the tent in there. It's just that little wish looks. It's like a lanshan, you know, the lanshan look alike. It just sits in there. I haven't brought it. I really haven't brought it. <laughs> this is a laugh of madman. Oh man. I've got the poles. I'm oh, just looking at the forecast there. It says it's going to rain at seven o'clock, but the rest of the night is clear. Question is, right? Do I just do I just stay out? I put my sleep mat down with the sleeping bag. I put the sleep mat in the sleeping bag, and uh, I just do al fresco. I'm going to have to. I just really don't want to go back. I don't want to. I don't want to bail out, you know. Even though I'm got a tent, I don't want to bail. Because I think, as long as it doesn't rain heavy, I can get away with it. Um. <laughs> I'm not joking. I'm really not joking. You just keep watching the rest of the video. There'll be no tent in it. There is no tent. I can't believe it. I got here, and I like 
looked at the bar and I thought, hold on. Do you know what? I think it might have fell out. I, I'm sure I had it on there. I think it's fell out. It's fell out somewhere along the trail. Oh man, what do I do? Do I go back? Do I retrace? Oh. Oh my God, it's getting worse by the minute. I'm sure I had it like, and it's in the bag, it's so slippy. You know that new bag feel? I bet it slipped out of there. I definitely put it in the bag. Oh, I've dropped it, haven't I? Oh man. I'm gonna go and have a look, right? I'm gonna have a look, retrace my steps so far that way. But I can't go all the way back, it's too far. And if I can't, if I haven't dropped it just coming along here, then I'm, I'm out in the open. We'll come back there. Damn in hell. Nah, I can't find it. I've walked for miles. Again, I've walked all the way back. Right across there. I only got so far. The only place I took my bag off, right, was right over there. I'm not walking all that way back. If I walk that way back, I might as well just come back to the van. So it's lost between there <laughs> I'm gonna have to retrace my steps tomorrow. Like, I mean, if I don't find it, ah, it's that Wislux, the Wislux pyramid tent, like the Lanshan. I don't want to lose it. It's in the bag. The bag's really shiny and um, it's dead slippy, you know. And it's obviously just it's come it's come on from underneath the lid. There's a lesson there. Like, tie your bag on. Don't rely on the lid keeping it on. What an idiot. So, fingers crossed, it doesn't rain because I'm out tonight in the open air. I've got no shelter. Cloud looks ominous, but I don't know. Forecast says no rain. I hope you're right, forecast. For once, please be right. Otherwise, I'm going to get wet. Don't know what to do. I can't walk all the way back. It's about four miles. It's miles and miles. It's all the way across there to the border gate and then over there and then to the bottom of that hill there. Because I stopped right for a, uh, well for a wee, you know, a wee. And I took my bag off. And that's maybe where it dropped out. Failing that, it's just come out somewhere along the trail and I haven't heard it drop. Dropped into the long grass. <laughs> so has anybody, has anybody ever lost the tent before? Didn't forget it, I just lost it. Oh, I've lost my tent. <laughs> All right. Because it's me and it's not winter and it's not, you know, it's not really dangerous conditions, I'm just gonna stay out. I'll just make do. I'll make a little shelter with me, what I've got out. I've got me, um, my coat. I've got warm coats, sleeping bag, everything's there. Everything else is there except the tent. Everything's there, bar the tent. So, uh, we'll just have to crack on. See? See what I put myself through for these videos? These damn videos. <laughs> I find a little place just to go, like. Hey, lad. Well, this is different, isn't it? This is a different one. Look at the views though, just for a minute, forget about that, have a look at the views. Nice. Puffing that big massive black cloud, if that disappeared it's nice and sunny. It's cold when that goes, when the sun goes. I think once that's gone though, we've got quite a clear sky. This is what might threaten the rain, but I can't see any dropping. I don't know, just have to live with it. Take what comes, lessons learned. I'm gonna tie that bloody tent on from now on. If I ever find it, I don't think I'll feel, I don't think I'll find it to be fair. I took such a weird path as like on and off the track. It could be anywhere. If I find that tomorrow, it'll be a bloody miracle. <sighs> what a clown. Could happen to anybody. Not my fault. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. 
it is on it so here I am in me uh, in me spot the sun's coming out now that clouds moving so don't think it's gonna rain fingers crossed if it does rain I'm just gonna get wet as simple as that no I can do about it it's too far to go back um, I want to stay out it's like a bivvy camp without the bivvy really it's just not really that bad you know I've got all the rest of my gear sleeping bag sleep mat I've got all my cooking stuff so I can have my tea um, and I've got my beers as well so uh, it's just a uh, just a shame I've dropped that tent I hope I find it I like that tent if anybody's found it if anybody finds it give us a shout yeah and I'll uh, I'll pay the postage for you to send it back or I'll collect it or whatever. See, I'll look tomorrow. I'll retrace my steps best I can, the same track. I think that most of it's on a path. It's just that bit through the, uh, do you know where I went through the water course? That's a bit spicy there. But I don't think it came out there. I'm just, I put my bag down over there. I'm sure that's where it's got to be there. Like It's got to be. Uh, anyway, so I'm just waiting for the clouds to pass before I get my gear out. Because once they've passed, I think that's, the rain's not going to come then. I don't think it is, to be fair. I don't think it's going to rain. Yeah, there's just a little, a little bit of cloud over there. So, yeah, we'll, we'll come back with some more antics. <laughs> this is a classic, like... Uh, my sleeping bag, you know, that's that's the main thing. Got my sleeping bag and my mat, and I can just put them here. I can just lay it out here. And I've got my poles right, so I was thinking about making like a windbreak with my coat where my head is, and that should be all right. Should be, but you probably get the best night's sleep I've had in months, you know. I wouldn't be surprised. I would not be surprised. Like I say, it's basically just a bivy camp without the bivy. That sun, look at that, it's going to come shining through in a minute. Oh, that's nice. I love it when the sun shines. Sunshine! Listen to this then. Oh, now's a seven inch and has a download. Ready? Andy Wardle says, hi Craig. Over the border in the hills of Scotland. Wild camping. Hiked for miles, found a camping pitch, forgot the tent. Not even joking. Sunglasses on though for a night literally under the stars. Play some warm tunes tonight. Andy, you wazzic. <laughs> <laughs> Naughty step, 100 lines. Why am I a wazzic? Why indeed. Look, this is my setup. <laughs> uh, hey, I'll tell you what it is. That's actually all right. As long as it doesn't rain tonight, I'll be all right. I'll be right. How many people would have bailed out? Be honest. How many people would have went back to the van? A lovely, lovely warm camper van, all set up in the um, down in the valley there. <laughs> Not me. I don't do things like that. I stay out, man. I stay out. Ah, what a wazzock. Naughty step, hundred lines. Well, so I'm just, um, well, I'm just chilling out, really. <clears throat> Listening to Craig Toss, as you can hear. Let's have a look up here. Them lads are over there. See, if I was over there and I forgot the tent, I could have went down to the spot where I think I left it. Lost it. Views for miles. Still wild though up here. <laughs> that's me this is me tomb this is where I die on the hill so if this is found footage right I went doing something I enjoyed it was my choice to stay out if this is found footage oh. there's my little set up there man it's alright I'm gonna lie down on it it's alright the only problem is going to be the creatures in the middle of the night the night creatures night crawlers there might be some night crawlers 
You haven't got to let that worry you. There's no mesh net. So actually it's quite a good thing that it's windy because there's no midges. Imagine if there was midges, oh, I'd be back in the van if there was midges like. No way would I stay out if that was midges. All right, what have I got for my tea anyway? Let's have a look. Under here somewhere. All right, salt and pepper, beef sizzle steaks. Nice. In soft pitters, these are the Warburton's ones. These are the ones I wanted the last time when I, these are already cut, you know, pre-cut. So I'll get them a few beers. Just the usual Morrison's job lot. There I go. A couple of them already. What a wazzock. So I'll make like a, um, with the coat I'll make like a windbreak thing here. By me heed. So I'll be at least out, out the wind. On my face. Oh man. It's never happened before. I don't think anybody's ever lost the tent before on a wild camp. But, you know, like I say, you adapt and you overcome. Which is exactly what I'm doing. I bet it pisses down. <laughs> Massive storm. Oh. Oh, it hasn't gone off. Yeah, we're gone then. Makeshift kitchen. I've got the uh, my pitas ready. Pitas, pitas, done. Like I said, minute steaks, so they don't have to take long. These I'm trying to keep the wind off. Kind of working. Ah, these things are terrible. Right, so I'll come back. Well, I think one of them's done. Maybe that one. So we're going to put it in the bread. Reet. This is going to be tricky, isn't it? On one hand. Uh, wait. Bear with. Bear with. I just hold it there. <laughs> Not great. Not the greatest tea in the world. It's a bit of a disaster, this camp, like. <laughs> a bit, a bit of a disaster. At least I got a shout out off Craig Charles. What's it gonna be like, though? I'm fine, huh? There's nothing in. Nice, tasty, like, salt and pepper. Salt and pepper, um, sizzle steaks. Mmm. Oh, it's got a nice flavour. The seasoning's quite nice. All right. So we're going to have these. Uh, a couple more beers. Sun's going down. It's not, there's not really a sunset to talk about. There's too many clouds for the... to see a good sunset. Mmm. There's some lads in them woods over there. I don't know if that's you. If you see a little sand coloured tent bag, just leave it on the track. <laughs> ah, man. Right. I'm going to get this. Get these before they get cold. Oh, the night's drawing in now. I can't wait to go to bed, actually. <laughs> I'm looking forward to going to bed, to be fair. This is me, um, Pathetic setup, look. So, I've moved. I moved the bag from there to that. That's better. My head's uh, raised up and it's not moving. It's quite flat. I've got this little wind, this little wind break made there. It's working. Oh, I. There's a couple of beers. Just lying on there. Just lying there. Yeah, it's alright, man. You've just got to overcome and adapt to your situation, to your sound surroundings, your sound downings, your soundings, your soundings whatever, I don't know what I'm talking about. <coughs> so, I mean, the views are nice. You can't get vexed with the views, can you? Look at that, 
things. I'm out in the van tomorrow, but I don't know if I'll be filming anywhere. I have no idea where to go, really. I've exhausted all my options. Um, I'm, uh, I'm in need of some new locations to visit. In the van. Ugh. Let's go and subscribe to M's Adventures. Get a, a thousand subs. She'll be out of the moon with that, like. She's buzzing with them. Um, she's buzzing with the one she's got now, 850. I've told her she's got to do more videos. She's going to, like, she will make more videos. I'm telling you. Anyway, so I missed the bloody lonely. Look at us. <laughs> Look at me. Look at me. I just hope I'm warm enough. I should be. I've got me, me water divining jacket on like this is the one I go swimming in. And that bag's alright. And I'm out of the wind. So yeah, it's alright. It's alright. Oh dear. Oh there's flying things. <laughs> there's things flying about. Here I am. Here I am. This is my bed for the neat. Look, I've got the I've got my coat here on the boat and poles. That's the um, shelter from the wind there. Ugh. I'm alright here. Yeah. I'm actually quite enjoying this. Is it is it mad that I'm enjoying it? It's good, it's different. Just don't want it to rain. <laughs> but if it rains, right? <laughs> Emergency contingency plan. Just grab the coat. Oh, hello. Now then. Did you did you find a tent on your way up here? We looked for it for you. But we couldn't find anything. Why? But if you don't read your message. <laughs> oh, we're on. How you doing, buddy? How you doing? Hi. <laughs> alright, all right, Brian, you're yeah. alright. Um, good. It's, what's your call what's your channel? North Face Wanderer. Who? North, North Face, Face Wanderer. Wanderer. Who? Well, oh, don't start that. Never heard of you. Don't cross the beams. <laughs> never um, heard of you. We're on the other one. And we're in a tarp, tarp bivy. There's plenty of room if you want to come over. Well, as you can see, I have adapted an overcame. <laughs> Are you going to be comfortable? Well, yeah. I... It says it's not going to rain tonight. Yeah, I'm having a good time. I'm lying here nice and comfy. Yeah. So. You're probably going to get a little bit damp as well, isn't it? Yeah, be alright. But I said, I watched your little, uh, your little short. And I recognised that wood over there. Yeah. And I was like, he's over there. And then, did you pop your head up? Did you come up over the I top? did, and I seen the top. And I thought, I thought, I thought, ah, there's somebody there. Well, we had a look, because I, I saw you coming across earlier on. Yeah. So I looked down and I saw a fan, and I thought, you're always over here. Yeah. And it's the same fan as yours. So I thought, <laughs> I put two and two together, and then saw you walking across here. So we traced our steps. Did you come all the way along the wall? Or did you drop down in the long? Well, hold on a minute. Well. I think it's about time to get to bed. <laughs> in me, me bed of doom. The wind died down a little bit, which is all right. This is sort of protecting um, the wind. It's coming on, like, so I'm not getting a cold, I'm not getting a cold face, you know? So I've got that, it's like a wind shield. So that's all right. I'll just be using a tarp. If I had a tarp over there, it would be the same effect. But, <sighs> That's freezing, it's really cold. Uh, um, so I've got my nice warm coat on. My hands are a bit chilly, but uh, I'll keep them inside, be alright. So we're gonna get in. Uh, yeah, tired. Oh, the stars are out, but it's cloudy as well, so I don't think it's worth putting a. St I haven't brought the, um, I haven't brought the charger lead for the, for the, battery so I can't I can't kind of do a, a night lapse if you know what I'm saying I'm not actually sure what I'm saying myself Ugh. right I'm gonna well, lie down I'm gonna get in I'm gonna have a nice little nice little kip with all the insects and the flying creatures should be good slugs is my main paranoia not bother about the flying things. Slugs is what you don't want. They can crawl in places. 
like you don't want them to crawl. There's none about at the minute, like. All right. So. Oh, from the ground, we'll sign out. I hope Glenn finds me blooming tent. I don't think he will. I've seen, I've looked over the back of the camp now, so I don't think I've, he's never sent a message on YouTube, so I don't think he's found it. I'll have a look tomorrow, though. I know where I was. I'll retrace my steps. So that's it. We'll see you in the morning, eh? But first, before I go to bed, I just want to do a few impressions, right, then. This is the morning. Ugh. Right. Didn't sleep well, like. Just breezy, cold. That's about it. Matt was comfortable. I don't know if it rained or not, if it's condensation. It's just dew. Oh, there's, there's no real rain splashes. It was a nice starry night, anyway. Ugh. Looking out. Oh, so I'm gonna get packed away, get off and go looking for my tent. <laughs> there we go. That's where I was. <laughs> I mean, night of doom, the night of the lost tent. So I'm gonna head back that way. We'll go up here first. Cheers for the to the North Face Wanderer, Glenn and Brian. I think they've gone. They went looking for. They came over last night looking for the tent on the way back, but he said he couldn't find it. Cheers anyway for trying. in my van soon <coughs> so oh, I'll turn off now come back in the van see if there's any progress oh look at the wind wind <sighs> right oh stop the clock two miles two miles that was it's not that far really it looked a lot further than it was not that one, so already over the back of there. Uh, I've had a look in here, there's no tent, so that's gone. There's no in here. I thought it might have been stashed there, but it's not. Uh, well, so I've lost my tent, I've really lost my tent. Up on the hill somewhere, I had a look where I stopped, I had a bit worn around um, where I stopped when I went up. I couldn't quite, I couldn't quite pinpoint where I'd been. I couldn't find the exact spot where I was, so I'm probably still up there. <sighs> so if anybody finds it, they can either have it or get in touch and I'll pick it up or whatever. <laughs> but man, I like that tent. That was the Wistlux Lorry tent, like the one that looks like a Lanshan. Gone. Bloody hell, man. I don't know how I didn't re it because it's so light as well, that's why I didn't realise it had dropped off. Such a lightweight tent, and the um, the bag it's in is really, really shiny and slippy. So that's it's probably just popped out the side of the bag as I've put it down somewhere. Yeah, well, right. Well, at the end of the camp, end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. My misery. Um. So until the next time, I'm going to holiday next week, so it might be a little while for a video. Might be a. Might be um, another bike to review as well. <laughs> another e bike. Uh, yeah. You'll find the right one eventually.
keep if I keep getting them and reviewing them, I will come across the right one. That one, the last the last duot, so far is in the lead. But the problem is that it's got a 750 watt motor, so it's not exactly legal on the roads. You can only use it on private roads. So I'm gonna be like Dolly Parton and make like a tree and get out of here. I'll leave you with this. This is the weather. So I had to put up with. <laughs>